Bienvenidos amigos, welcome. It's a great pleasure to have you all here uh, in this house for the third barometer. And it's a special honor to have here um, our two ministers, Lord Kingston and Minister Mendel, and also Lord Wood. Spain invests in Britain for a reason. You will see that the United Kingdom receives 17% of the Spanish foreign direct investment. So essentially, in other words, when the Spanish companies think of venturing abroad, they think of Britain first. As we've heard, despite the pandemic, Trade between the UK and Spain was worth more than £36 billion in 2020. Well, I like to think that our trade is much like the ingredients of a, of a good paella, rich and diverse. Uh, the release of this barometer, which shows perfectly how strong bilateral relations are, uh, regardless of the uh, difficult times that we are going through uh, worldwide, the COVID, the Brexit, the shortages now. Something that will uh, resist and will get stronger is the bilateral relations between Spain and the United Kingdom. British businesses want to be recognized by two key attributes. They employ highly qualified people and they invest a lot of uh, money in training and they are also companies that invest a lot in innovation. is to provide a focal point for serious empirical analysis of the effects of Brexit, of issues arising from the trade cooperation agreement and decisions that are still being made. We want to have a rigorous examination of the new reality and cast a light on both successes and <laughs> continuing issues. I want to publicly thank the companies that made this barometer possible. Abanca, BBVA, CaixaBank, Telnex, Exolium, Ferrovial, Gestam, Iberia, López Landa, Sabadell, Santander, Seat, Uriah Menendez, and Watch and Case. These companies reflect not only the huge contribution that the Spanish companies make to British economic life, but also how Spanish talent enriches British life.